all right guys welcome back survival living here so here on the channel we try to do as many projects as possible trying to show you about uh being more self-sufficient and we use solar on our daily basis here on our daily lives we use solar to power up our home this is one of those alternative power sources i speak of all the time on the channel of having power during disaster either natural disaster or the end all be all shtf now what we have here is a product from one of our affiliates this is the v4 this is a 3500 watt inverter with a 7000 watt peak oh yeah it's a pure sine wave mm -hmm. this is huge this is a lot bigger than what we're already using we have a 3500 watt 5000 watt peak system on our solar grid right now now what i'm going to do is go over this i'm going to hook this up on a mocked up solar grid so you can kind of see exactly how to do everything and again we are affiliated with them with this i'm going to go over what all that come with this kit we have a battery terminal positive negative we have 50 amp fuses instruction manual and this little nifty doodad it's a remote control now the remote does have to be plugged in it gives you 9.3 or nine and a half feet i forget what it is this here plugs into your remote and plugs into the inverter so you can remotely turn this thing on and keep track of the battery the amperage everything that you're using without having to go back to wherever it is that you have your inverter hooked up at to go see this information. You can run this nine feet away and you can keep track of it yourself. So what we're gonna do guys, we are going to take this out and I'm gonna hook it up and I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to install these. Having solar generators is nice, but having a solar system is even better especially inside your home i asked for a large one they do have many different types on their website and definitely check them out of course being affiliated we do a good we get a commission every time someone purchases through our links but i try to encourage you to build your own grid i've done many videos on step by step on how to do this it is very simple and you're going to be so much happier when the power goes down and you have power big difference here in florida we have hurricanes uh we just had a massive windstorm come through just destroyed our outdoor kitchen all right i saw reports in alabama and georgia destroying greenhouses and destroying homes it was like it was like a hurricane that's how strong this wind was but we didn't have a hurricane just a freak of nature all right so having power is definitely key in survival so with this guys i mean this thing's got a massive ventilation fan for cooling that's huge I'm excited about this thing. All right, guys. So let's get to it. All right, guys. So we are out here in the outdoor kitchen. Um, we have our solar grid set up here. This is a very small inverter. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this. And I'm going to continue to use the same wiring that we already have hooked up. So I'm going to go ahead and pull all of our wires. This is our negative that goes to the negative terminal of our LiPo 400 amp hour battery. We're going to disconnect that and we got our positive over here. Go ahead and remove that. This is just a small inverter. We now have this larger 3500 watt inverter from Vivor. Uh, this is what we're going to hook up out here. So we're going to go ahead and take off the caps. slides right off slides right off and we're going to loosen these nuts and washers take all that off if I can get my fingers in there same with the negative All right, now, this is our negative terminal. I'm gonna drop it back here. We are going to get this hooked up. I'm 
this is how simple this is solar is actually very simple guys it's not as difficult as people try to make it out to be i know it can be scary because you're thinking electricity and everything else as long as you are practicing safe procedures you'll be fine don't cross wires over and stuff like that now we got our positive lead we're going to hook this up hook up our positive lead here put our safety cap back on so things don't arc off by accident hitting the nut now we have our inverter hooked up charge controller we got solar coming into our charge controller our battery coming into our charge controller and we've got our inverter hooked up on our battery so let's go ahead and move the camera here we'll show you what we got all right so 120 volt output we are at 14.2 volts which is pretty close to our charge controller over here currently zero watts going out we've got our smiley face showing our full battery charge we are in the on position these lugs down here is so we can hardwire electrical onto it 600 volts 25 amp gives you a nice little strike plate here you just take that off hook up your cables and everything directly to it we have four outlets to run items so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and hook up some things and uh, get that tested out all right so we've got our fan we keep out here we're going to plug this in turn this on i got it on high currently says we're using 69 watts So yeah, th this is freaking awesome. Um, of course, the fan, coolant fan didn't kick on or anything because that's not a very big load on this. So what we do, we actually have drop cords and things like that hooked up for our lighting and everything else. So we'll get everything plugged in and everything turned on. Our lights are on. Uh, it says that we are drawing nine watts of power with our lighting. We use LED light bulbs, uh, nine watts of power. Yeah, freaking awesome so having something that can convert our solar power into usable power for all of our appliances and stuff out here is freaking awesome freaking, i love this so again guys we are affiliated with uh vivor they have a website full of all kind of equipment everything from solar inverters these power inverters for your solar system your solar grid and it's very simple to do there should be a pop-up here for you guys of me doing a breakdown a two-part series on how to build your own solar grid this is awesome all right so i encourage you to build your own solar grid it's very simple it's very cost effective just get make sure you get a pure sine wave inverter like this one if you don't have a pure sine wave inverter when you run your appliances like a fan you hear a humming and a draw sound a sound that's because it's not a pure sine wave. A pure sine wave inverter runs your appliance with no issues at all. If you're not using a pure sine wave inverter, you run a chance of burning out your appliances. So this is a pure sine wave inverter, 3,500 watt continuous power with a 7,000 watt peak, which means it can hold up to just about anything you throw at it. All right, guys, definitely do appreciate you hanging out with us. Again, if you decide to purchase through us, we do make a small commission off of all sales. It doesn't cost you any more. It just helps promote our channel here and helps us out here. All right, guys, speak to you all later.